Hey, it's my Isha, and I made this video just to show how I use henna and bentonite clay for the first time. Lately, I've been suffering from some hair breakage in the middle of my head, an itchy scalp, and I really want to take care of that, so I use bentonite clay. Bentonite clay contains the mineral silica, 70% uh, of it, and it aids in the regeneration of skin cells and the growth of strong and healthy hair. And the pH balance is between 8.3 and 9, which is why I mix mine with apple cider vinegar. Okay, this is the apple cider vinegar and the bentonite clay that I use. I use a spray bottle just to dampen my hair, but I did not add water to the mixture the hair clips kind of irrelevant because i really did not um use them too much because with the clay in my hair my hair is quite hard and i didn't want to manipulate it too much so once i added equal parts of clay and vinegar to the, my mix it actually uh fizzed up and i was a little scared of it but you know, once I did the pH balance research, I was a little bit more comfortable. So I knew I wasn't putting like bubbling acid on my scalp. So after I applied the uh, bentonite clay to my scalp, my hair, my scalp actually stopped itching immediately. So while I let that sit on my hair, I decided to mix the henna that I was going to try. And my henna mixture was nothing complicated or fancy. I added some grapeseed oil to it and some like really boiling hot water. And um, yeah, after I got it the consistency that I was comfortable with, I just kind of covered it with uh, some plastic wrap and I let it sit for a couple of hours. And I didn't show it on camera, but the color of it did change. Like, right now, it's like a muddy color. But after I let it sit for a couple of hours, it really turned like a dark green color. This is the hard as a rock bentonite clay <laughs> on my head. And this is what my hair looked like when I rinsed it out. My scalp was really, really clean and it felt so good and so did my hair. My hair was so soft that it felt like I had did a deep conditioner on my hair. And I really wish I hadn't put the henna on it because, I don't know, the henna did not make my hair soft. It made my hair feel really hard and brittle after I rinsed it out. So... I don't know. It was my first time doing it, but next time I do it, I think I'm definitely going to use a really moisturizing shampoo bar to rinse it out and uh, deep condi follow that up with a deep conditioner. But I like the way my hair looked with the henna on it. It was no method to the application. I just slapped it on my scalp. So... <laughs> People on YouTube make it look so easy to put this dog on this uh, plastic wrap around their hair. It is not easy. I struggle, and it took me longer to put the plastic wrap on my hair than it did for me to apply the uh, henna. So at some point, I just got frustrated, and there was no method to the madness. Look at my face. I look so angry. I just put that stuff on my head and wrapped it up and just was like, forget about it. So, yeah, my arms was tired and I was annoyed. And you can definitely tell by my facial expression that I was not feeling the plastic wrap. <sighs> anyway, the next morning when I got up, I uh, needed to do something for my job, so I just put a scarf on it so I can look presentable and not like a fool with mud in my hair. And when I got back, I rinsed it out. I just took the scarf off, the um, bonnet that I had underneath, and, you know, prepared to rinse it out of my head. I tried to take the saran wrap off neatly, but it wasn't working because I couldn't find where it started at, so I just snatched it off. And that worked just fine. My head was hot. Like, I think I'm going to start using saran wrap for deep conditioners 
instead of plastic caps every once in a while because my hair felt really nice and like the henna had got penetrated by the heat from my body. So this is just what my hair looked like after I washed the henna out. And it is not easy to wash henna out of your head. I literally washed my hair about eight times before I didn't feel henna anymore. And, you know, after the deep conditioner and everything, I still felt henna in my hair. And I was just like, forget it. I'm just going to have henna in my hair. Like, <laughs> I mean, seriously, it was just beyond me at this point. So I decided to deep condition. And I'm just showing you my hair texture to show that my hair did not change colors. But I will be trying some type of Ayurvedic treatment every week. Thanks for watching and goodbye.